All right, so we finally got the reason to why Jordan Battle is not playing at all. I mean, like, literally has two snaps the whole year or four snaps, whatever. It's like less than 1% of the snaps. Um, we finally got the reason why he's not playing. And shout out to Lou Anarumo for finally revealing it. After four weeks of me screaming about it on camera every single day. The reason? This. When he came in. Jordan Battle, that is. He just started off a little bit slow in training camp. For whatever reason. Jordan has progressed as we've have gotten better. So if he continues that upward trend, then we'll work with him in there. What? What? No! What? Give me more! What? What? Bro, what is this response? This isn't an answer. This is a, um... This is like a, hey, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Gibberish. That's the word. This is gibberish. Um... Yeah. There's, there's your reasoning. When he came in, he just started off a little bit slow. So, you're not utilizing the best run support safety in your team when you're getting destroyed in the run game and you need help in the run game. You're not utilizing that the best guy for you to win and be successful. And the reasoning is because in training camp, he started off a little slow. I, I like I like the idea of not knowing what the reason was because then I could at least come up with a good reason in my head where like I could just say like I don't know he slept with Lou's wife or something and that made more logical sense to me in my head now that I know the actual reason I I don't I don't want to know the actual reason because the actual reason seems stupider than my reasoning of he slept with Lou's wife which could still be the reason. At this point, why not? Because this is like, what? He has progressed as we have gotten along. So, if he continues that upward trend, then we'll work with him in there. So, I'm like trying to read in between the lines here. Are they saying that he's a, like an attitude problem? Is this like an attitude thing where him and Lou aren't getting along? Do they need to go through couples therapy? I will orchestrate this couple's therapy if it means we can shut down the run. Okay? We can sit down on the channel, have a whole live stream. We can all enjoy ourselves and they can talk out their problems. Is this a personal thing? If he continues that upward trend, then we'll work uh, him in there. So, pretty much, let's, let's do the professional breakdown of this. What he's saying is is that he's, he came into training camp, started off slow, and there's something about him right now that stopping them from playing him. Could be an attitude thing, could be a play thing, could be anything. Could be he just doesn't, you know, he's not grasping the system, he's not understanding the system, he's not understanding what Lou wants to do. So, because of that... You know, he's getting better every week. They're giving him one to two snaps a week. And as time goes on, they're going to utilize him more. And if he continues to learn, get better, develop, you know, off the field, and they don't see him more as a liability on the field, then he's going to get more snaps. That's the logical truth of what this is saying. I like to go with the more comedic value because I think it's absolute horse crap. That's my, that's my analysis. See, this is why I don't get hired by ESPN. I, I put on, I, I write a whole entire article on ESPN. Horse crap! Put a picture of Lou's face. Um, I get it. I do get it. Um, if that is the problem, it's off the field issue. Well, not off the field, but if it's a, if it's a problem on the field, and you're like, hey, listen, we... Don't, in a way, he's a liability. We can't trust he's going to do his job correctly. 
when he did really good last year and did amazing last year, then I I, I feel like that's kind of counterintuitive. But if that's the case, right? If that's the case, cool. But at some point, and I said this with Mo Ma uh, Jungmita when he playing one snap and it's like so far this year. I understand that you're like, well, we think it's not best that we have him out there. Because last year, I mean, last week, Lou went off, man. Lou went off against the Panthers. He said, you know, I, I didn't play Cam Taylor Britt on some series because he, uh, he wasn't playing good. So he goes, if you're not playing good, I take you out. Simple as that. So, like, Lou was, like, spitting here. And then, obviously, he lit this one up. But he lit up um, Cam Taylor Britt in this press conference. Um, but if that's the case, right? And I understand, like, you're like, hey, listen, it's just not working, right? But if you're in a game, right, and you're getting absolutely just, like, smashed. Railed up the wall. You know, like... Pornhub is common. It's calling you up to get on their service. Like, if you're getting that bad by your defense, and trust me, last couple weeks, our defense against the run, you could put that on a website and you would get a million views. You could just say, um, grown defense getting rammed up the wall, right? And that's the case. At some point, you gotta do, you gotta try something new. Like, just sit there and say, all right, we're going to keep that same defense, guys, same defense, and get destroyed the whole game. It's just stupid. This is stupid. You have guys on the roster who even if you're like, hey, this guy's a liability. Jordan Battle's a liability. If he's a liability, I'd rather put him out there and he messes up and he looks like an idiot than sit there and watch them run straight down our throats every single play. If he goes out there and makes one good tackle and looks like an idiot the rest of the game, but he makes that one good key tackle, I'm okay with that. Right? I, I would then say, okay, maybe this is why Battle isn't playing. Right? Maybe that's why. But if that's the case, then again, that's the case. Just do something. Okay, and I understand if we're doing very well in defense, right? We play Kansas City. We're doing really well in Kansas City's game. We're playing great. We're doing awesome. And they're like, hey, listen, our defense is looking good right now. We're not going to put in Jordan Battle for that set of reason. I'm okay with that. And if this is the reasoning why is that they don't, he's a liability to them on defense, right? I get that. But if you're going against commanders and your defense looks like a freaking high school defense out there, I don't care what your reasoning is, put him out there. Okay? Because what's the worst that could happen? He's a liability. Your 11 men you're putting out there right now are liabilities. The defense you're calling right now is a liability. The defense you're calling right now is bad. So put someone out there. Try something new. What's the worst that can happen? Jaden Daniel puts up 400 yards instead of 350? Like, I understand this narrative. If our defense were playing good every single week this year so far, they've been playing amazing, absolutely crazy good, I would say, you know what, Lou? I understand. I would say, Lou, I wish you would have told me this week one and not week four. Clearly, you have some problems in, um, you know, your timing. We'll work, we'll work that out on stream with your marriage, marriage, marriage counseling um, with Jordan Battle. We'll work that out on stream. But if that was the case, right, our defense was like top five, you know, like crazy good. And Lou said this, I'd be like, okay, yeah, I'm not, I understand that. Like if our, our defense is playing so good, so like I get it, you don't want to have a liability. But we're not playing so good. We're playing Whitney Hutt Jr. football out there. We're looking like middle schoolers against grown men. Like, I almost called social services three times in that commander's game. Because I thought we were watching kids get freaking destroyed. Like, we have to do something. And even if he's a liability and he's getting better and he's growing. Like, so this is not an injury. What we're getting at all this, is this is not an injury problem. This is a problem of... As they say, a coach decision. This is a coach decision. This is a personal issue between a coach and the player. <sighs> okay. At least we got an answer. 
I'm going back to my answer. He slept with Lou's wife. That's my answer. Peace out, guys.